So this is Greg with 360 Audio Visual, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your mixer and connect it to your speaker. We're using the JBL 15 inch speaker for the purposes of this video. And this is a Soundcraft eight channel mixer, as you can see here, it has eight mic inputs. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your power cable and then you're going to need an XLR cable to go from the XLR outputs here to the XLR input on your speaker. Those are the main things that you're going to need for this particular setup. So once you get this powered up, then you just connect. I kind of already have it preset. Just going to connect the female end of the XLR cable from one of these outputs. Always make sure that when you connect these cables that your volume is down. You don't want any popping any loud popping noises if you're setting up make sure your volume is also down on your speaker when you're connecting your cables then once you get them connected then you can make the adjustments so it's a pretty basic setup here you just want to power up your mixer power up your speaker and connect the output from the mixer to the input from your speaker, uh, into your speaker. Now we're gonna get into your different signals that'll come from like microphones, from a laptop computer, um, and other video, uh, other audio sources that you might have. But pretty much those, your signal flow is gonna go from, let's say a microphone, it's going to go into one of your channels in your mixer. Then you're going to adjust your volume. You're going to adjust your volume on your mixer. I normally like to set everything to what we call unity gain or a little bit lower in this instance. And maybe about minus 15 halfway just to give you an adjustment point. Now, obviously, if you if you're just using your left channel, then you don't need to worry about your right channel, but in a stereo situation where you have left and right, then obviously you're gonna adjust. These, these are your master volume buttons. And then obviously these are your um, faders on each individual channel. This is your pan button, which allows you to pan left or pan right, but in, I would say 100% <laughs> of the scenarios when you're dealing with corporate presentations, you're always going to have your pan aligned center, dead zero. Um, these auxiliary buttons are if you have, we'll get into that at a later time, we won't get into that right now. And then these are your different frequencies, um, your lows, your mids, your highs, and Basically, for the most part, you want to start off each one just even at zero for each one, and then you adjust as you need to, uh, depending on what frequencies you're getting back when you ring out the microphone. And those are the basics that you need as far as setting up. Uh, this is your gain for each individual channel. The rule of thumb I always like to use is set your gain first and then what I like about this Soundcraft is even before, even with the channel on mute, you can uh, get yourself a little pre-fader level right here, that PFL, and it's going to give you a level. Once you speak, you'll see it, you'll see the meter of each channel. So when you say like one, two, one, two, it'll come up to right here and it'll let you know what your reading is based on the gain that you have. And then you can adjust your gain accordingly. 
Then after you have your gain set, that's when we go and get into adjusting your faders for your mixer. So right now it's on mute, that's unmuted. But I normally like to start off everything muted and then when I'm ready to start testing out, then I unmute it and I just adjust the volume very slowly as I bring the volume in. So the purpose of this video was to show you how to connect a mixer to an external powered speaker and that's what we just showed you.